And we're very honored to extend our sponsorship one for another three years. And really the main reason is you've got two great brands um, and two great brands who have a huge desire and passion for doing good in the communities that we live and work in. So, um, you know, we love enjoying it because the Gary Player Invitational is one of the few sporting events that brings business and sports together to do good in community. You've always hosted this event here in South Africa. Are we lucky to see maybe this tournament maybe expand to other African countries? I'm sure Gary would love that. I know um, for us at, at Coca-Cola, I'm here in South Africa and I'm happy it's here, but I would love to see other countries experience the power of the Gary Player Invitational and its uniqueness in other countries. It's very exciting to have a company like Coca-Cola support us and to continue to support the relationship that we've built with them over 10 years now. Uh, they've been a massive contributor and, uh, and, and certainly an integral part to the success of the Gary Player Invitational. Well, we're once again focused on raising money for the charities. That's the most important part of why we do this tournament. But in order to do that, we have to secure the participation of businessmen and we have to secure the participation of people that are going to help us at the auction to raise that money. We're very excited this year to be moving to, uh, to the Palace, uh, a new venue for the tournament, and with the continued support of Coca-Cola, we feel very confident that we can raise more money for for the charities i don't know whether it was a message from god because i'm a great believer in the lord but it was a gift that was loaned to me to become a world champion and i said whenever i become a world champion i will help underprivileged children and it's such a thrill for me to have done it in china to have raised millions and millions and millions in china and in america and in europe and in my home country which i adore south africa we've changed the lives of so many people and that for me is such a thrill, having struggled as I did as a kid, having struggled. Now, I didn't struggle as many children, as many other children today that don't have any parents and that are living on their own. You must always remember there's somebody always worse off than you are. Well, I've always rated the Lost City. Had the money been spent on Lost City that has been spent on the Gary Player Country Club and had they kept the T's that I originally and my original ideas there, I think it's a better course than the Gary Player Country Club. I think it's a lot tougher if you play from the tees and the, the way the course was originally designed, but they shortened it and changed it a bit. So it's not as tough as the other. But it's a wonderful venue because it's right in the mountains and the, the peace, the bird life, and I'm a great lover of nature. We're very excited about the fact that uh the best lady golfer to, uh, to ever play the game, Annika Sorenstan, is very interested in coming to South mm. Africa. We've had conversations with long-time supporter Ritif Khorsen, who will be making a return to, uh, to professional golf this weekend, in fact, in Italy. We've spoken to uh, Ryder Cup captain Paul McGinley. We've spoken to Darren Clark, Ian Woosnam, Sandy Lyle, uh, Tony Johnston, Sergio Garcia again, as well as Camilo Vajegas. These are all people that we've had conversations with. A number of them will be playing in other tournaments, but we we're, we're feel very confident that we'll have a, a wonderful field once again. Unfortunately, in the case of both Tim Clark and Trevor Immelman, two um, South Africans that we spoke to, they won't be making the trip to South Africa, so we know they can't play. And as far as the up-and-coming South Africans are concerned, Brandon, Gray, Charles Swartzel and Louis Oerstes, and they're all scheduled to play in the Dubai World Championship, which is on the same weekend as the Gary Player Invitational. From a celebrity point of view, uh, once again, we have Kenny Dalglish drubbing up a lot of support for us mm -hmm. overseas. He's been a great supporter. He's coming back again. Um, and with Kenny, we've been speaking to people like Les Ferdinand, uh, Ian Wright. Uh, we've been speaking to Martin Johnson, uh, Brian McFadden and Vogue Williams, who came last year, Ronan Keating, Anthony Anderson. He's a hell of a character. He, uh, he's uh, starred in Law and Order. We've also extended invitations to the, to the very big names, uh, Samuel L. Jackson again, who supported us in 2003, and Hugh Grant, as well as Boris Becker. So 